Thank you for joining this short webinar about Inovi Investigation. My name is Susie Weiss, the Regional Sales Manager for EMEA at Agent VI. As a quick reminder, Agent VI has been a global leader in video analytics solutions since 2003 and has thousands of deployments globally across a range of sectors, offering different video analytics packages according to our customers' needs. Today, we're going to focus on Innovi for Investigation, which is one of our packages offered as part of our Innovi AI video analytic platform. You can also find webinars introducing our remote guarding or enterprise package on our website or YouTube channel. Now, whether you're looking to better operations, improve situational awareness, or use video for criminal investigation, it's clear that without automated tools, there's no easy way to achieve this today. Innovi Investigation is an AI-based video analytics platform that supports the operator to search across one or many sites on an unlimited number of cameras to be able to retrieve quick and meaningful results. Innovi offers immediate access to the data on all connected cameras, which is achieved without the need for significant hardware or heavy computing resources. Now, the investigation process is simple. All you have to know is where you were looking, what you're looking for, and approximately when you're looking for the event of interest. Then at a few clicks of a button, you have all the relevant results that you need to be able to manage and share with ease. Now let's take a better look and move over to the Innovi investigation platform. Now, as you can see, we've just entered the Innovi demo portal using a standard web browser. Now, the aim of the demo today is to show you how Innovi Investigation can shorten the search process by using different filters based on information the operator receives. Now, as we're using live webcams, which we don't control here, and not live customer cameras, the demo is there to really provide potential scenarios rather than real cases. Now, as we move to the Investigation tab, you can immediately see a drop-down list on the left-hand side of all the sites that are connected to the system and then look at all the cameras that are related to each site. And we can start our search by either selecting the cameras from their location on the map or alternatively from the drop-down camera list. Now we can start performing a quick search based on the available filters. Now let's assume we received information of suspicious activity in the area and we want to see if we can narrow down some suspects by performing an initial search. So we'll select the rule type of moving in an area for now and keep the dwell time at zero seconds. And as we're just looking to get an overview of the people that were in the area at the time, we'll search for all people as the object of interest. And let's say we receive further information that the suspicious activity likely occurred between around 6.30 in the morning to around 9.30 in the morning. So we'll select that time frame and start to investigate. Now, as Innovi Investigation only searches on the metadata that's been continuously generated in real time, you can see how quickly you're able to retrieve the results with 402 video files across nine hours of video footage that are loaded in seconds. Now, you can easily narrow the search results down even further by, let's say, just selecting one or two of the cameras out of the three. We can see we've already reduced the results down to 132 video files. Or alternatively, you might have received further information that the suspect of interest was wearing, let's say, a red top and black trousers. So we're gonna narrow down our search even further to see if we can find the person that we're looking for. As you can see, the results have narrowed down to 22 video files. And now this means that more in-depth investigation into the video itself is gonna be a lot easier to perform. So let's say we can choose a particular file that looks of interest and we can open up the original video source to get a sense of what the suspect was doing, where they might've been moving and at what time. So in this case, the event occurred at 8, 11 in the morning on camera West S1. Now we might wanna see if the same suspect has appeared at different times or across different cameras. So let's say we select another camera, which appears to have the same suspect. 
And we can see that he has appeared moving in this area at 8.16 in the morning across camera West N2. So now we can start building our case or adding these results to an existing case as part of an ongoing investigation. So we do this by selecting the events of interest and then go to add to case. For this purpose, we'll call the case red, go to next and create a new case with the case name red two and the case description suspect. And we can either add this to an existing folder or create a new folder. Now, of course, this information can be made private or public to be able to share with colleagues for further analysis. Now we press OK and as you can see, a case has successfully been created. Now you can actually view the same results on the map to be able to get a really clear idea of where these events were happening in real life. Uh, you can first hover over the different thumbnails to verify that this is indeed the same suspect that we were looking for previously. And of course, open up the video stream for further verification. And then you can also start piecing together where the suspect may have been going and what was really happening in the area at the time. Now, for the purpose of the demo, I'm really guessing the direction because we don't have full coverage to the whole scene. But in a real customer environment, you would obviously have cameras that are placed in all of these areas and be able to really get a much clearer understanding of what was going on and where the suspect was going. Thank you for joining this short webinar today. I hope you found it useful. Please feel welcome to contact us for more information or for a trial of Inovi.